Hi guys! To make money sleeping. <laughs> it's a dream. But not always. There might be something that uh, might be true, let's say, in what I'm telling you. I want to show you on my computer. Let's see. Here we are, guys. We have this code here where we have an input, day or night, which can be zero, which means we are working at night, we buy at the close of a market and we exit immediately next bar at the open. So we keep an overnight position. When the input is equal to one, we enter at the open of the market and we close at the end of the day. So we keep a position during, during the day session, which is the normal. We write, let's say, the daily candle. Now I prepared here a portfolio with the Dow 30 stocks on a daily and uh, we, we go back uh, as, as far as possible I can on my, on my database. Uh, okay, starting capital here is not important. We use $10,000 for each position. This is just an experiment, of course. And here is our, our signal where we can run an optimization going from zero to one. So we test night or day. What is the, the best choice we can make? At least what leads to making more money? Here we go. You can see immediately that uh, well, <laughs> it's a little bit small, but the number here is bigger. So uh, the, the night solution with zero makes more money than the day solution, you see? And also the drawdown is smaller on the night rather than on, on the day. So uh, the money seems to be made overnight. Markets went up, but most of the money seems to come from overnight positions. This is a very important information for the stock market, at least. It's important, we are talking about stock market here. Now let's take this, um, this as, a, as a setup and let's really backtest the whole thing here takes a while, uh, not really to make the maths, but imagine there are a lot of trades. We have the Dow 30 stocks and every day we place a trade and we close it the day after. So we have many, many trades and this obviously needs some time to, to be calculated. Never mind, we, <laughs> we are patient. And here we are. This is uh, the, the performance report. Just I will show you the big figure here. We already knew it uh, made money. We have seen it in the optimization. Here it is. This is the equity line, which is an, an ever going up equity. What is interesting here is the annual report, the annual period. You see there are some losing years, 2008 and so on. But uh, overall, we don't have many losing years. And this is really interesting. We have a few losing years, which are not even extremely losing. And what's even more important, on the overview, we have more or less every, every stock making money. There are two exceptions here. PG, Procter & Gamble should be, and Hewlett Packard probably, losing money. But all the others do make money with this approach. This is extremely interesting. It means that uh, this tendency is, uh, let's say, more or less everywhere in the stock market in the United States. Now, let's have a deeper look into the uh, day activity, when we buy at the open of the market and we close the position at the close. In this case, we already know that we were making less money. Let's have a deeper look into this uh, less money, how it is. Uh, so first of all, uh, we see immediately that we have more stocks losing money. Not, not many, but some more than in the previous case. And now if we look at the, at the main figures, well, the report is what we already knew is making uh, less money, about uh, a little bit more than half of it. The equity line is uh, mm, a bit uh, worse. And you see all these uh, signs. It's due to the fact that we are measuring activity and positions on the open market. So uh, this is a day by day chart, let's say. And we see how the excursion from high to low during the day was. What we did not see on the other chart, because that one was um, during the night when the markets are closed. So in that case, we could not see what was going on on the single chart. But uh, apart from this, uh, 
here we go into the, the annual period as we did for a previous case and we've already seen from a chart something here but let's have a look at, uh, at the annual period uh, you see there are uh, I would say more losing years than in the previous case so also this confirms that the overnight trades are better than the intraday trade. Somebody could argue that it's linked to risk. I have a higher risk with a closed market, but this is partially true because mean S&P 500 future is open 23 hours a day and during the night session we could easily hedge our positions with the future in case of some disaster could happen or things like that. So uh, that's not an, an objection which makes completely sense in, uh, in my opinion. Night is better. We make more money at night. This is what I see here. So guys, that's it. Uh, it was not exactly going to bed, sleeping and making money, but it was something I hope useful and something that uh, for sure can be kept in mind when you approach the markets and when you put down some rules to create a trading approach. I hope also that uh, what I showed you can lead you to look further, to dig further for other hidden facts in the markets. That's it, guys. Always stay tuned, always stay curious. This week, this was what I wanted to tell you. See you next time. Ciao from Andrea Unger. Enjoyed it? Click the link below and you will be noticed as soon as new material is available.